And now it's time for the catch, which takes you around the Great Lakes to hear from reporters about the issues they're covering. A group of students at Eastern Michigan University are studying a surprising aquatic species hiding out in the Great Lakes. And live reporter Michaela Coffey has the story. They were actually spending their first semester studying more about this, these freshwater jellyfish. Um, so these students took some time doing field research in uh, a lake in Dexter Township and went snorkeling and collected the freshwater jellyfish to come back to kind of like learn more about them. The students saw a previous story by Michaela about the presence of jellyfish in a small pond near Brighton, Michigan. It prompted them to reach out about the research they're conducting at Pickerel Lake in Dexter Township as part of a biology class led by Professor Kara Shillington. It was like around 17 students at Eastern Michigan University and they spent time snorkeling, collecting and analyzing different jellyfish that they would bring back to the university. Um, they were able to collect 25 to 30 jellyfish in the lake and from there they've been trying to come up with some information and come up with, um, I guess, answers to a lot of questions because freshwater jellyfish seem to be an animal that not many people have all the answers to. And while there's still a lot that's unknown about the freshwater jellyfish, one thing researchers seem to agree on, at least for now, is where they came from. A lot of researchers seem to think that they come from the Yangtze River Valley in China and they were transported with ornamental aquatic plants and stuff like that. According to the Great Lakes Aquatic Non-Indigenous Species Information System, the jellyfish have been in Michigan since 1933, when they were found in the Huron River near Ann Arbor. Since then, Michaela says they've been found in bodies of water throughout Michigan, Ohio, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. But they're not always easy to spot, and that's partly because of their small size. A lot of the times these freshwater jellyfish were the size of a dime or a nickel, so they were very small and they never really found them close to shore. So it was more when they were swimming out um, into the lake. So that may be why a lot of people haven't seen them yet. And in case you're wondering, yes, these little jellyfish are venomous like their larger sea dwelling relatives. But because of their size, Michaela says they don't pose a serious threat to humans. A lot of people have questions about whether or not these jellyfish are something to look out for if they're harmful, um, but a lot of researchers have concluded that these freshwater jellyfish aren't. They do sting, but they sting more smaller organisms like zooplankton, um, so humans shouldn't be worried about them in their lakes. At Great Lakes Now, we aim to cover the Great Lakes region and the people who live here, like you. Please follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our newsletter at greatlakesnow.org.